Welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a donation, crowdfunding website like GoFundMe using WordPress. This video is from kingsolutions.org.uk where you will find WordPress and small business solutions for non-techies. If you enjoy the content in this video, then consider clicking on the subscribe button. Ok, let us begin. For those who don't know, GoFundMe is a personal online crowdfunding website that allows people to raise money for all sorts of events. Between 2010 and 2017, over $4 billion USD was raised on the platform for over 2 million individual campaigns. Don't think that people will not donate money, they do. Just look at Lily. She wanted to raise £3,000, yet she's raised over £34,000 so far. There's all sorts of reasons people need a little help, and a lot of people recognize that. So, if you want to create a crowdfunding website very similar to GoFundMe, then you have come to the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to create a crowdfunding website like GoFundMe from your very own WordPress website. What a lot of people don't realize, is that GoFundMe, is not free. Now, whilst I'm not knocking them for their charges, after all they do seem pretty reasonable, when it comes to fundraising, every penny counts. One of the nice things about the method I'm going to show you here, is the fact that the plugin used is free. So creating a GoFundMe type site is not going to cost you a penny, if you already have a WordPress website. The purpose behind your fundraising, does not really matter. The method is the same. Most people use fundraising events, to raise money for themselves, a friend or loved one, during life's important moments. This includes things like medical expenses, education costs, volunteer programs, youth sports, funerals, and memorials, even animals and pets. You might want to create a crowdfunding site to fund a business, charity, or research. If your nonprofit or cause depends on donations, you want to treat your donors right. So sending them through a shopping cart or kicking them off-site to a third-party platform is not a good idea. Using Give streamlines the giving process by allowing your donors to complete their donations directly on your website using an easy-to-complete donation form. Today, I'm going to show you how you can have your family, friends, and visitors, donate to your cause. Plugin installation. For this demonstration, I will be using a WordPress site hosted on localhost, but the process is exactly the same, whatever your site's location. Before we begin configuring your fundraising site, you will need to download, install, and activate a WordPress plugin called Give. Give is the highest rated, most downloaded, and best supported donation plugin for WordPress. Build from the ground up for all your fundraising needs. With Give you can accept charitable gifts through customizable donation forms, view donation statistics and reports, manage donors, and integrate with a wide variety of third-party gateways and services. Give is a very popular plugin, with well over 30,000 active installations. It also has lots of add-ons should you need to customize it even further. So, from the plugin section on the WordPress dashboard, click the Add New button, to add a new plugin. On the Add Plugins page, Enter the name of the plugin in the search box. When the plugin has been found, click the install button. Followed by the activate button, to get the application ready to use. With Give installed, you will see a new menu item, Donations, on the WordPress dashboard. I suggest you read the Give About page before going any further. Forms are the heart of Give. They are how you provide the easiest way possible for your donors to donate on your website. Donations are accepted through customizable forms. Forms can be standalone pages, or embedded throughout your website using the shortcode generator or widget. You will find the Give Forms have a lot of options and give you a lot of flexibility when creating your donor forms. But always keep in mind, that the best forms to create, are as simple and intuitive as possible for your donors. Once you have created a form, it can be used as a standalone page, or inserted anywhere on your site with a short code. To add a new form, simply go to the Donations menu, and click on the Add Form sub-menu item. On the Donation Options page you can set single or multi-level donation amounts. Your campaigns can have a predetermined amount you want to receive from each donor, or amounts tiered at specific levels. Or maybe you simply want donators to set their own custom donation amount. You can do all that on this page. For example, to set a custom amount, enable custom amount. 
and set the minimum custom donation amount in the field provided. You can also enter some custom text to accompany your request. Choosing multi-level donation opens up the levels section where you can add as many levels as you like with your own custom names and amounts. If set, you will retain the custom amount setting unless you specifically disable them. But now you also get to select a display style for the donation levels on the form. Scrolling down allows us to set the donation levels. Here you can enter level descriptions and amounts for each level. In this example, I'm just going to keep it simple and have level names as basic, bronze, silver, and gold, with amounts of $1, $10, $20, and $50. I'm setting the silver level as the default. Oops, I almost forgot. I have not set a title for my form. Let's call it, Save My Dog Poodles. Save the form. And see what we have. One thing to note by the way, here is the short code for this particular form. Each form you produce will have its own, unique short code. The first thing to note here, is the test mode notice. We don't want to be emptying our bank account whilst testing the forms do we? Next is the donation levels. The default, silver donation is displayed, but selecting any of the buttons will change this. Alternatively, the donator can give a custom amount. The payment method comes next, we'll discuss this shortly. This is followed by the donator's personal information. This is optional, donators can remain anonymous if they wish. More on this later. And finally, the donation amount, and all important, donate now button. If we take a look at the form display page you can see the display options available to us. In particular the button option. If we select this. And preview the page. You will see that the form has been reduced to a button. Clicking the button, reveals our form. This is ideal for use in sidebars, widgets, headers, or footers, to give your site visitors a one-click option. It gets your donation form on any page of your website. For now, I'll return to the standard form format. The default gateway, refers to the gateway that you will enable on the payment gateway settings page. We will do that in a moment. This option allows you to override the global default option set in the payment gateway settings. For example, PayPal standard, may be set as the global default payment gateway, but you may have a form where you want offline donations to be the default. You can change that here. The guest donations option, allows you to have non-logged in users make donations. I think this is the best option, but you can require donors to have an account, or register an account, when they donate if that's what you prefer. The registration section, allows you to add the WordPress registration or login form to your donation form. This allows your donors to create or log into their user account on your website, and makes viewing their donation history page much easier. My preference would be to leave it at none. This is because, if you require people to jump through hoops before donating, they are more likely not going to bother. I think the bounce rate will be substantially increased if you require registration. But that's just my view. Given that GoFundMe requires registration, I guess they would disagree with my view. The floating labels option, just gives your forms a more uniform look and feel. Just leave the default. Ok, let's move on to donation goal. This tab allows you to enable a goal for this specific form, and display a progress bar. If we enable the donation goal, you get the option of setting a goal for each form. Donation goals, are a great way to set funding needs for the campaign, and to show your donors how well your campaign is going. The goal format, lets you display the progress of your campaign, as the amount raised, or the percentage of the goal achieved. The progress bar color picker, allows you to choose any color you like to indicate the progress made. 
This allows you to match the color scheme of your website. The close form section, is where you decide what to do, once your goal has been achieved. You can choose to let the donations keep rolling in, or you can choose to close the form once the goal has been achieved. If you close the form, you can show a message to indicate that the goal was achieved, and thank donors. Moving on to form content. And enabling, display content. Allows you to add content before or after your donation form. This makes your single donation form pages, fully standalone donation landing pages. In this section, don't forget to state the reasons for your fundraising clearly and succinctly. Tell donors what you hope to achieve. And why. Finally, add a strong call to action. You can set the content to appear either above or below the donation form. Traditional landing page style is to have the content above the form, so you can provide your donors with the message of why they should donate. The editor is your standard WordPress WYSIWYG editor. Next we'll cover terms and conditions. This tab allows you to override the global terms and conditions settings just for this specific form. Selecting global options will inherit the settings from the main terms and conditions page. Selecting disable will disable any global terms and conditions just for this form. The customize option, will override the global terms and conditions settings for this specific form. That's what we'll do now. The first thing you need to do here, is enter some agreement label text. Here you are asking the donor to agree to the terms and conditions. I suggest you phrase this as a polite question. Next enter the actual agreement text in the editor. You can include formatting, images, and even videos. Keep in mind when composing your content, that scrolling will cause the donate button to move out of view. So, it's best to keep this content as succinct as possible. In practice, once you have set the global terms and conditions to your liking, you will probably never need to change them. Okay, let's move on to, offline donations. Offline donations is where you can select alternate payment gateways. The purpose of a payment gateway is to keep all donor information, specifically credit card information, private, safe, and secure. You do not want to be responsible for credit card information, in any shape or form. I don't see many fundraisers accepting offline payments, but this is the section to implement it if you do want this option. As I have not entered any data in this demo, the donation, donors, and report sections are pretty sparse, but we'll quickly go through them anyway. The donations page, is where you would get an overview of the up-to-the-minute donations that you've received through your website. From here you can filter and sort your donations by date, or status. The donors section provides useful information about donors. This includes donor management, reporting, and the ability to export the data. The main donors page, shows you all of the donors, with links to click for more information. The reports section, allows you to view a graphical representation of the performance of your donation forms. You can also export them, in CSV or PDF formats, for bookkeeping and meetings. The donation forms report, shows you the overall performance of each of your donation forms. You can view the performance of each form by number of donations, total income, monthly average donations, and monthly average income. If you accept donations from several payment gateways, the donations methods report, will give you an overview of all your payment gateway transactions, so you know which payment gateway is performing best. You will see all billing gateways, their completed and pending or failed transactions, and the total donated amount for each gateway. Give settings section, controls the global configuration of how your forms interact with gateways, send emails, and sets the defaults for the display of your forms. The success, failed transaction, and donation history pages, are the default transaction pages for your site. Give creates a set of default pages for you, though you can create your own if you wish. They are stored as standard WordPress pages. Just edit or create new pages as you normally would. In the base country dropdown, just select the country from where your site operates from. And don't forget to save any changes you have made. The global currency settings, allow you to configure which currency all your donations will be received and reported in, 
as well as the formatting of the currency values. The Access Control section, gives advanced options for how your donors interact with sensitive data on your website. Entering the reCAPTCHA keys is optional, but as it protects your email access form from being spammed, I strongly suggest you implement it. The Payment Gateways, is where you will set the options for the default payment gateways and any premium add-on gateways you have activated. As you can see we are currently in test mode. You will need to change the setting when you go live. The enabled gateways list populates by default with three gateways, PayPal standard, test payment, and offline donation. If you've enabled any premium add-on gateways, they will also appear in this list. You will probably want to enable PayPal standard, and disable test payment and offline donations here. Generally speaking, all you need to accept donations is PayPal standard. If you've already enabled your PayPal account to accept payments, then you're ready to go. Otherwise, go set up a free PayPal account. The link is below the video. If you are going to be using PayPal standard, you will need to enter your email address here. If you want to customize the look and feel of the PayPal landing page, you can do that through your PayPal settings. PayPal has detailed documentation to help with that. Once you've created the page, just insert the name of it in this field, and it will be used for all transactions with PayPal. If you are going to be accepting offline donations, this is where you will configure the default settings. Remember, if you are collecting any visitor information, even if it's only email addresses, then, using an SSL for your site is highly recommended. In the Tools Export section, you can export all your donor and donation data into a CSV file for use in any spreadsheet software. You can export a PDF of donations and income. Income and donation stats. Donation history, and donor details. The import tool, allows you to import donation data from any source using a CSV file. This could be handy if you are migrating from another platform. Just follow the instructions supplied, and you will not go wrong. Add-ons allow you to extend the power and functionality of an application. Give has lots of excellent add-ons. Now, whilst some of these are free, most are not, so be aware of that. For example, the recurring donations add-on, allows your fundraising to receive regular subscription donations. Did you know, the average recurring donor, gives 42% more per year than the average one-time donor? If you use a payment gateway such as Stripe, or Authorize Net, you will find an add-on for them here. If you run your crowdfunding campaign, in tandem with an email marketing campaign, you will find add-ons for MailChimp, Aweber, and Constant Contact waiting to go into action. PayPal is one of the most widely recognized and used payment gateways in the world. In Give, the default payment method for PayPal, redirects users to the PayPal website. PayPal Payments Pro, allows nonprofits in the US, Canada, and the UK to accept secure credit card payments on their site directly rather than being redirected. So you might like to give this add-on some serious thought. There are many more add-ons available, I suggest you take some time and investigate further. Well, I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, then click on the like button below, and leave a comment. If you want to receive more helpful videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and check out the King Solutions website for more useful information. See you soon, and thanks again for taking the time to view this video.